everyone, welcome to Cosmic Kids. I'm Jamie and this is your place for yoga, stories and fun. It's easy. Just copy the moves I do and enjoy the adventure. Now we always start in the same way and that's by sitting on our bottoms, crossing our legs and bringing our hands together at our hearts and saying our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. There. Now let's have a look through our cosmonoculars and find out who we're meeting today. Joining your thumbs and fingers together, have a look through. Oh, look at that. Oh, they're spinning around and around. The colours, the shapes. It's amazing. Can you see the picture? Yes. It's a dolphin. It's Popcorn the dolphin. Oh, what's Popcorn doing? She's doing yoga. She's doing washing machine pose. Oh, we're going off to see our old friend, Popcorn the Dolphin. How exciting. That means we're going to the ocean. Oh, who's this at the window? It's Nelson the Pigeon. Now, from your crossed legs, fold forwards and put your hands forwards. Take one leg all the way back behind you and leave your crossed leg in front. Nelson lifts his chest as he says, Goo, 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 goo. He's tapping on the window. He wants to tell us something. Let's swap over now, crossing our legs again, but this time put your other leg in front. Fold forwards onto your hands and stretch your other leg back behind you. He coos again. Goo, 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 goo. He folds forwards to give us a special message. <gasps> Thanks, Nelson. We sit up very tall and we open it up. Bending your knees, open up the message. <gasps> oh, wow, everyone. It's a treasure map of Treasure Island. And there's a message. Help me find the treasure before the pirates do. I need your help. It's very important that we get to it soon. Remember, stay calm, keep breathing and think positive. Ah, oh, that's our popcorn giving us our special, special message. Right, standing up everyone. There's no time to lose. We're going to help Popcorn the Dolphin find the treasure before the pirates do. We salute and we say, aye aye, Captain. Aye, aye, Captain! We pack a backpack with some see-in-the-dark cosmonoculars reaching over to pat our backs and a swimsuit in case we have to go in the water. Well done, everyone! And we head to the docks where we pick up our pirate ship, which is, in fact, called the Lucky Squid. Sitting on your bottoms, bend your knees, hands behind you. Lift up one foot. Lift up two, lift up one hand, lift up two hands. We're in boat pose. Now let's make it into a ship by lifting up the mast. Well done, everyone. Oh, the lucky squid is Popcorn's pirate ship and we're going to set sail. Woohoo! Now let's look through our telescope. We lie down on our backs, take our arms wide and we stretch one leg long and one leg up in the air like a telescope. Boop. Through our telescope, we can see another ship coming up to sit back in your boat pose, everyone. Lift up one foot, lift up two, lift up one hand, lift up no hands. This one's got a big mast as well. And on it is a big black flag with a white skull and two white crossbones. It's pirates. And they're so close, we can even see the pirate standing up. He's only got one leg, see if you can balance. And he's only got one eye as well. He's got a funny old face and he's got a hook for a finger. Oh my goodness me! And he's coming towards us very, very fast. Right, everyone, we need to heave ho the sails down. Jump your feet wide, reach up high and heave ho the sails. Ready? Heave ho! Heave ho! Heave! Oh, 
It's no good. They're getting closer. We're going to have to walk the plank. Here we go, everyone. Coming round to the back, we take big, brave steps on the plank, balancing very carefully, one foot in front of the other. And when we get to the end, we have to stretch up. We think positive, we stay calm, and we keep breathing. Let's dive in the water. One, two, three. Boosh. Coming all the way down to your knees, everybody. We swim up, swimming up, lifting our arms as we breathe in and lowering them down as we breathe out. At the surface of the water is our friend, Popcorn the Dolphin. She's come to rescue us. That's what thinking positive does. Coming up high onto your knees, she claps her flippers together. Well done, Cosmic Kids. You did it. Now, I'm going to get you as close to Treasure Island as I can. You're going to have to stay calm, keep breathing, and think positive. And you need to find Smuggler's Cave, because that's where the treasure is. I'll be waiting for you. Come on. We crisscross our fingers, come down to our elbows, and we swim with popcorn, diving backwards and forwards through the waves, making our dolphin clicky noises. <laughs> Popcorn gets us as close to Treasure Island as she can. She can't come on land with us as she's a dolphin, so we're on our own. We stand up and we take big steps across the sand dunes, stepping a big step and back and the other way. Big step. And we come to the edge of the jungle, which is full of palm trees. Coming up to stand, bring one foot on top of the other, your hands together at your heart, and grow your palm tree up very tall. Oh, what an amazing palm tree. I wonder if I can blow you down. You stay tall and strong and I'll have a go. Ready? Doopy doopy doo. -doo, -doo, -doo. <sighs> I can't! You're too strong. Let's try the other side. Bringing your other foot on top now. Your hands together. Grow your palm tree up nice and tall and open your big palm branches. Beautiful, everybody. Jumping around in the palm trees are the monkeys. Crouching all the way down, they jump around, saying, ooh, ooh, ah, ah. Ready? One, two, three. Ooh, ah, ah. And again, one, two, three. Ooh, ah, ah. We ask the monkeys if they'll warn us if the pirates are coming by giving us a secret call. The call is banana pants. Let's practice with a big monkey jump calling banana pants. Ready? One, two, three, banana pants. Well done, everyone. Now, off to find the treasure. We need to cross the lagoon and pass beneath the waterfall. Here's a little rowing boat. Sitting on your bottoms, lift up one foot. Lift up two, lift up one hand, lift up no hands. Well done. We row our boat across the lagoon. Legs out long, holding onto your foot for an oar. Here we go. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Ring, 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 ring. That's the telephone. Let's answer it. Hello. Oh, hi, Popcorn. Are we calm and are we breathing? Yes, I think we are. We're calm, we're breathing. Thanks, Popcorn. Bye. We row with the other oar. Here we go. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Ring, 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 ring. Let's answer the other telephone now. Hello. Oh, hi, Popcorn. Are we thinking positive? Yes, Popcorn. Yes, we are thinking positive. Happy, happy thoughts, yes. Thanks, Popcorn. Bye. We put the phone down and we've come to a very big waterfall. Quick, everyone, bring your knees up, huddle up tight, lift your toes and let's duck our heads down. Quick, eek. Phew, well done. We've come to a dark, drippy, slippy cave. Jump your feet wide, bring your hands above your head into your cave pose. It's so dark in here, we need to put on our see-in-the-dark cosmonoculars. We reach in our backpacks for them and we put them on, thumbs and fingers together. Have a look through. 
Wow, it's a swamp. And look, we can see some stepping stones to cross. Uh-oh, it's also full of snakes. It's a snake infested swamp. And they seem quite interested in us lying down on your bellies. Put your hands beneath your shoulders and lift your shoulders up, doing a big hissy snake face. We have an idea. Let's do a nice, calm, meditative om and make them all go sleepy. Coming up to sit with your legs crossed, bring your hands onto your knees and let's do a lovely om. Breathing in. Om. We open our eyes and we see all of the snakes have become hypnotised by our om. Coming into your snake pose again, everyone. Now it's our chance to cross over the stepping stones. We stand up and we tiptoe across. Ready? Look. We've come to a mound in the sand and up above us is a big light beaming through a hole in the ceiling of the cave. There's a spade. Could this be where the treasure is buried? Only one way to find out. Let's dig. We take the spade, crisscrossing our fingers behind our back and we fold forwards to dig. Ready? One, two, three, dig! And all the way up again. And again, one, Two, three, dig! And look, down there, we can see it. The treasure chest, sitting on your bottoms, joining the soles of your feet together, holding onto your feet and folding all the way forwards, like a treasure chest. But we can hear something outside the cave. It's the monkeys doing their special call of banana pants. Coming into your monkey pose. Ready? One, two, three. Banana pants! That must mean the pirates are coming. Quick, everyone, we're going to have to go. We take hold of the treasure chest, lifting it all the way up and putting it into our backpack. And from the hole above us, a rope falls down. We wrap our bodies around it, wrapping our leg around and then wrapping our arms around. And we climb up the rope. We switch sides, crossing our other leg around the rope and our other arm around, and we climb up a little bit higher. We've done it, and we can hear the snakes below hissing at the pirates. Thanks, snakes! Look, the monkeys have come to help us get away. They show us how to swing through the trees. We reach and swing. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh. This is fun! We swing all the way back to the beach where our friend Popcorn the Dolphin is waiting for us. We hop onto her back, coming down to our knees, crisscross your fingers and down onto your elbows. Well done, Cosmic Kids! You've done it! Now, let's get away! And we start to dive through the waves. After that amazing adventure, we're quite happy to be carried on Popcorn's back. So we lie ourselves all the way down, resting ourselves. What an amazing adventure. We managed to get to the treasure before the pirates did. And we can use that treasure to do some amazing good things, like protecting the wildlife on the islands looking after the ocean. So much good can come from it. And we're so glad we managed to get there before the pirates did. We feel very proud of ourselves. How brave we were in the dark, using our om to help those snakes feel all settled. And now it's time for us to wake up. So we wiggle our fingers and our toes. We give our knees a hug and we roll over onto our sides. We come up to sit with our legs crossed 
and our hands together at our hearts. And we finish just the way we started with our secret yoga code word, which is namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. Well done, everyone. That was a great pirate adventure. I hope you come back soon for another Cosmic Kids adventure. Bye-bye. Don't forget to join me on Saturday morning for Saturday morning yoga. Get everyone at home together and enjoy some family time. Remember, subscribe and hit the bell so you never miss one. I'll see you Saturday. It's yoga time. Cosmic Kids for little ones. Oh, hello. I'm Jamie. I'm just doing yoga. I'm doing boat pose. I wonder if you can do boat pose. You come to sit on your bottom and put your hands behind you. Then you lift up one foot, lift up two, lift up one hand and lift up no hands in your boat pose. Now, boat pose is a clue about our adventure today. Shall we see what it is? OK, let's sit with our legs crossed and wiggle our magic fingers. Here we go. Magic fingers, magic fingers, magic fingers wiggle away. Oh, wow, look, we're on a pirate ship. Today we get to be pirate adventurers and go and find some treasure. Let's come up to stand. I think we should get ourselves ready by singing a pirate song and copying the actions as we go. If you want to be a pirate, say war. If you want to be a pirate, say war, war. If you want to be a pirate and you've got your trusty parrot, if you want to be a pirate, say war, war. We do the pirate dance and hop around, hoppity hop. We do the pirate dance and hop around, hoppity hop. We do the pirate dance whenever we get the chance. We do the pirate dance and hop around, hoppity hop. If your parrot's feeling hungry, do a squawk. Wah! If your parrot's feeling hungry, do a squawk. Wah! If your parrot's feeling hungry and it's got a rumbly tummy. If your parrot's feeling hungry, do a squawk. Wah! Oh, that was amazing, everyone. You are an awesome pirate. Now, let's go find the treasure. Here we are on our sailing boat. So let's do our boat pose. Coming to sit on our bottoms, we lift up one foot, lift up two, lift up one arm and lift up no arms. Now, give me a wave. Yay! We lift up one arm to raise the mast. Oh, and we have to be very strong in our tummies to do this and fly the flag. Oh, look, over the edge, we can see lots of fish in the water. Let's do our fish pose. Sitting up nice and tall, we point our toes and come down onto our forearms. Now we pop, 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 pop our chest to the sky and look up to the sky and maybe back behind us like a fish. Bob, 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 bob. Very good, everyone. Now we need to keep a lookout, so let's climb the rigging. Coming up to stand, we climb up. Ready? Up we go, up we go, up we, up we, up we go. At the top, we look through our binoculars. Joining our thumbs and fingers together, we have a look through. Wow, look at the ocean. It's an... Uh-oh. We can see another boat. It's more pirates. Let's come into our pirate pose. Standing on one leg, like Long John Silver, making our finger into a hook, closing one eye like we've got an eye patch on and going, Arr! Oh dear, we'd better escape off our boat before they capture us. They must be looking for the treasure as well. Let's walk the plank. Coming to stand at the edge of the plank, everyone, we take our arms out wide and we walk very carefully, trying not to wobble along the plank, one foot in front of the other. At the end, we stand up nice and tall and reach our arms to the sky. Then we fold all the way forwards, splidoosh, into the water. Now, 
we find a friendly whale who helps us swim to the beach, coming into whale pose. Sitting on our bottoms, we bend our knees and keep our feet flat. We lie all the way down and put our arms down by our sides. Now we lift up our hips as we go bubble, 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 pop, and lower back down. Let's try that again. Here we go. Bubble, 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 pop. Yay! The whale helps us get all the way to the beach of Treasure Island. And when we get there, we sit up with our legs crossed and we say namaste to thank the whale. After three, one, two, three. Namaste. Now we're here on dry land. Our parrot lands on our shoulder and it says something rather funny. Let's come into our parrot pose. Onto our knees, we bring our hands down in between our knees and then we lift up, sweeping our arms up, saying, cheeky sausages. Then we come back down. We do it again, lifting all the way up and say it again, cheeky sausages. Where on earth did it learn that phrase, we wonder? I don't know. Now, let's go find the treasure. We take big steps up the mountain. Coming up to stand, everyone. Here we go. Big step. And all the way back. And another one on the other side. Big step. And all the way back. <gasps> Look, we find a little cave. Let's do our little cave pose. Down onto our knees, hands down. We tuck our toes and we press our hips up to the sky. Coming into our little cave pose. Now we need to wiggle through this little cave on our tummies. So we come back down onto our knees, lower to our bellies, and then wiggle, 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 all the way through into the cave. On the other side, it's so very dark and slippery. So we tiptoe, coming all the way up to stand, walking your hands back and rolling all the way up. Let's tiptoe. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's OK. It's just a little mouse. Let's come into our mouse pose. Down onto our knees. We fold our body all the way forwards, going squeak, 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 squeak. Oh, that's a relief. We were a bit frightened there. Let's carry on tiptoeing all the way up to stand again and tiptoe some more. Shh, shh, shh. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's OK. It's just a Mr Skinny Leg Spider. Let's do our spider pose. Bending our knees all the way down, we use our ticker ticker spider fingers to come all the way round the backs of our legs to the sides. We wiggle ourselves in to our spider pose. Look, we can see the treasure chest. Let's do our treasure chest pose. Sitting on our bottoms, drawing the soles of our feet together, we fold our head all the way forwards to meet our heels. Lifting up your heads, everyone. I think we should take this treasure home and share it all with everyone because we're good pirates and we know how important it is to share. Those other pirates just want to keep it for themselves. So come on, let's take it out. Coming up onto our feet, we take our hands forward to take the treasure chest. We lift it all the way up above our heads and we run out of the cave. Run, 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 run. Run, 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 run. And look, waiting for us is a magic carpet. Let's come into our magic carpet pose, crouching all the way down again, sitting on our bottoms with our legs out wide. We fold all the way forwards to put our treasure chest down. Very good, everyone. Arms come out wide and we begin to spin as we take off into the air. The magic carpet carries us into the clouds and as it does, we lie ourselves back on our magic carpet to enjoy a few moments of resting. Ah, oh, it feels so good to lie down, having some calm time after all of that excitement. We were so brave, finding our way to Treasure Island and rescuing the treasure so that we can share it all because we know how important it is to share.
Now we take a few minutes just to lie here, enjoying being calm, breathing slowly. And then it's time to wake up. So we wiggle our fingers, we wiggle our toes. We hug our knees into our chest and we roll onto our sides. We press ourselves up to sit and we cross our legs. We bring our hands together at our hearts and we finish with our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. Wow, well done, everyone. You were an awesome pirate adventurer. I hope to see you again soon for more yoga time. Bye-bye. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Cosmic Kids. I'm Jamie, and this is your place for yoga, stories and fun. It's easy. Just copy the moves I do and enjoy the adventure. Now, we always start in the same way, and that's by sitting on our bottoms, crossing our legs, and bringing our hands together at our hearts, and saying our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. There. Now we're ready to begin, and today we've got a special adventure which is inspired by the Disney movie Moana. So we're off to a Polynesian island called Motunui, which is where Moana lives, and that's why I'm wearing my flower crown. But before we go, we have to go back in time to learn about the legend of a goddess called Tefiti. Coming up to stand in goddess pose, everyone, taking your feet wide, turning your toes out and bending your knees. Take your arms out wide and bring up your hands, coming into your goddess pose. Now, Tefiti is the goddess that breathes life into the oceans and the islands. Let's breathe in and lift up. And let's breathe out and send life to all of the oceans. We breathe in and lift up. And we breathe out and we give life to all of the islands. Now, Tefiti has a beautiful green stone at her heart, which has got a spiral shape on it. Let's come into rock pose. Coming down onto your knees, we fold our body forwards over our legs and take our head down. Now, this is where she gets all of her life-giving power from. But one day it gets stolen by the demigod Maui. Coming up to stand in our Maui pose. Up we come with our legs wide and our arms wide. We turn our hands, make them into fists and bring them up, showing our muscles. Now we give them a kiss like Maui does. Mwah. Mwah. He takes the stone and he uses his magical fish hook. Let's come into our fish hook pose. Turning to the side, reach one of your arms up and take your other hand to the other side. Now see if you can balance and try and get your foot behind you. Whoop! Try not to wobble. And see if you can kick your foot a little bit coming into your fish hook pose. Yes! Well done, everyone. But he turns himself into a hawk and he flies away to escape. Now see if you can stretch your leg back behind you, your arms out to the side, coming into your flying pose and coming up to stand well done everyone but on his way escaping he gets attacked by a lava demon called Tekar coming into our volcano pose down onto your knees everyone hands down in between your knees as we breathe in let's lift up here we go and as we breathe out let's whoosh lava to the sky whoosh and again breathing in and whoosh some lava Whoosh! Oh no, this sends Maui's fish hook and the heartstone of Tefiti flying into the ocean. Now, a thousand years later, on the island of Motunui, Moana is a baby girl. Let's come into rock the baby pose. Sitting on your bottoms with your legs out long in front of you. Take hold of one of your feet and pop it in the crook of your elbow. Now give it a little cuddle, like you're cradling a little baby Moana. 
Oh, she's so sweet. Now, she is in fact the daughter and heir to the chief of Motonui. Let's switch sides, popping your leg down, lifting up the other one and putting that in your elbow and giving your baby a little cradle on the other side. Oh, baby Moana. She loves stories and she really enjoys playing with the ocean. She likes running towards it. Coming up to stand, everyone, and let's run into the waves with Moana. Run, run, run into the waves. But all of a sudden, a beautiful green stone appears. It's the heartstone of Tafiti. Moana squats all the way down and she scoops up the beautiful stone. Wow! so beautiful. It has chosen her. All of a sudden, her father Tui calls for her and she stands up. Oh dear, she drops the stone back in the water. Moana's daddy doesn't like how much the water seems to call to her. Now Moana is 16 years old, bringing your hands onto your hips and standing nice and proud. Moana is now chief in training but the island of Motunui is running out of food. Let's have a look inside the coconuts. Coming into coconut pose, sitting on your bottoms, drawing the soles of your feet together, holding onto your feet and folding your head all the way down towards your toes. Now we look inside the coconut by lifting up our heads. Here we go. Oh no, they're all black and burnt inside. And what about the fish? Let's come into fish pose. Sitting up nice and tall and point your toes away from you. Now come down onto your elbows and pop, pop, pop your chest up to the sky, maybe looking up or back behind you in your fish pose. Now all the fish look to be gone from the ocean too. Coming up to sit, everyone. Moana goes against her father's wishes and she takes a little boat beyond the reef to go and find more fish coming into boat pose. Take your hands behind you and lift up one foot, lift up two, lift up one hand, lift up no hands. Oh dear, but she goes with her little pet pig, Paw. Sitting up nice and tall, everyone. Take your feet wide, keeping your knees bent. Take your hands inside your feet and open your shoulders coming into your piggy paw pose. And let's make a little noise like paw as well. Very good. But the ocean is so rough and it rocks and rolls them all over the place. Coming into rock and roll pose. Sitting up nice and tall, hug your knees and then tuck your chin. We're going to rock all the way back and all the way up. Ready? One, two, three. Whoop! Whee! And again, one, two, three. Whoop! Whee! Well done, everyone. Oh dear, it throws them out of their boat and they have to swim on their tummies back to the shore. Coming to your tummy, everyone, lying all the way down and using your feet and your hands and your arms to swim back to the shore. Now waiting there for Moana is her grandmother, Tala, who wants to help Moana learn her destiny. So she takes her to a secret cave. Coming up to stand, everyone, let's come into our cave pose. Taking our feet wide and our arms wide, bring your hands above your head, making your palms touch above your head. Inside this cave, there are the most beautiful, huge boats. Coming to boat pose, onto our bottoms, everyone. Taking your hands back behind you. Lift up one foot, lift up two, lift up one hand, lift up no hands. There's also the most enormous waterfall in the cave. Lying down on your back, spreading your arms wide and pointing your toes up to the sky. Yes. Now Moana must bang the drum three times to find out who she really is. So we cross our legs and we rock up to sit. Yes. Turning to the front, everyone. We bang the drum three times. Here we go. Bang. Moana looks through her cosmonoculars, joining your thumbs and fingers together. Have a look through. Wow! She sees. I am a voyager, sailing and discovering new islands across the world. I must make the island well again. Lowering your hands, everyone. Moana comes up to stand from cross-legged without touching her hands on the floor. Ready? and she runs out of the cave to tell her grandmother, I am a voyager! Now that night, 
Moana's grandmother, Tala, falls ill and she lies in her tent. Coming to lie on your back, everyone, your arms and your legs long. All of this time, Moana's grandmother has been looking after something. That green stone heart of Tafiti. She reaches up to give it to her granddaughter now as she says, Go! The ocean chose you. You must find Maui and return the heart to Tafiti. And with that, she lies back and takes her last breath. Coming up to sit, everyone. Moana knows now what she must do. She must find Maui. So she sets sail in one of the big boats. Taking your hands back behind you, lift up one foot, lift up two, lift up one hand, lift up no hands. Now lift up your mast, setting sail. Now, Moana realises the following day that she's not alone. Stowed away is in fact her funny pet rooster. Hey, hey, let's come into our chicken pose. Up onto your tippy toes, everyone, and using your fingers to help you balance in your crouch position. Now see if you can take your fingers off. Oop, try not to wobble. Put your hands on your hips, roll your shoulders back and make yourself two little chicken wings. And let's make our chicken noise. Yes. Now following along behind her is the spirit of her grandmother as a beautiful sparkling white manta ray. Coming onto your tummies, everyone, taking your arms wide and pointing your toes back behind you. We lift up our chests as we soar through the ocean like a manta ray. Whoosh! But that night, later on, Moana and Hei Hei are hit by a big storm. Coming up to stand, everyone, with your legs wide and your arms wide, we begin to spin. The lightning bolts from the sky. Oh no! And there's claps of thunder above our heads. Let's clap our hands. And there's more lightning as we spin a little bit more. And there's another clap of thunder. Clapping your hands. Oh no! The boat goes upside down, bringing your hands onto your hips and folding your body all the way forwards to look upside down through your legs. Ah! Rolling back up to stand, Moana and Hei Hei huddle up together, sitting on your bottoms, giving your knees a big cuddle. They hold on tight to the boat and they close their eyes, hoping that they're going to be okay. And in the morning when they wake up, they open their eyes and they find that they're in fact stranded on a desert island. Moana can hear something, so she rubs her ears from the bottoms all the way round to the tops. It's the sound of her voice. It's Maui, the demigod's voice, coming up to stand in our Maui pose. Legs wide, arms wide. Make your hands into fists and bring them up to show us your muscles. Now let's give them a kiss like Maui does. Moana demands that he comes onto her boat and that he helps her restore the heart to Tafiti. But Maui's got other ideas and he puts Moana in a cave. Reach your arms all the way up above your head. He wants to steal her boat so that he can go and find his magical fish hook. But Moana's clever. Moana uses yoga to escape from the cave. Coming to sit in bridge pose, everyone. Knees bent, feet flat, hands behind you, and lift your bottom up to wiggle out of a hole in the roof of the cave. Moana comes up to stand. She reaches her arms above her head and she dives forward, folding all the way down to get back onto the boat. Now Maui tries to throw her off again, but the ocean wave keeps rolling her all the way back up to stand on it and keeps putting her back on. Maui turns to the front and he crosses his big arms. He refuses to help her return the heart stone. He says it will attract dark creatures. But uh-oh, coming towards them now, it's the tiny coconut pirates, the Kokomora. Crouching down in a squat pose, everyone, and snuggle your arms in, making yourself into a tiny coconut pirate with your fingers and your face. Arrrr. They want the heart stone too, and they fire arrows at Moana's boat. Coming into archer pose, 
sitting on your bottoms, legs out long. Take two fingers between your big toe and your second toe. Now draw your elbow and your knee all the way back and see if you can reach to touch your other toes. After three, let's fire the arrow. One, two, three, pew! Yes, let's do it on the other side. Two fingers between your big toe and your second toe. Bring your elbow and your knee all the way back and reach forward with your fingers. Ready? After three, one, two, three, they fire zip wires onto the boat to slide down, coming into slide pose, taking your feet all the way forward, pointing your toes and taking your hands back behind you. Fingers point towards your bottom. Now press your whole body up in the air, making yourself into a slide. Yee-haw! Now Moana and Maui, in just the nick of time, with Hey Hey, manage to escape sitting on your bottoms. And let's go, phew! Goodness me. Now Maui just wants to be a hero. So let's come into hero pose just for him. Up onto your knees, everyone. Take your hands in front of you and your feet wide. Snuggle your bottom down in between your ankles and crisscross your fingers, turning them inside out. Now lift them up above your head, coming into your hero pose. Now if that's a bit ouchy on your knees, you can lift your bum, bring your feet back under and sit back on your heels. Yes! Now Maui knows that he did wrong by taking the heart stone and he agrees to help her put it back. But first he needs to find his magical fish hook. And that means going to the realm of monsters, to Lalatai. Ah! Now Moana sits with her legs crossed. She wishes to sail. And she asks Maui with her hands in Namaste, teach me to be a wayfinder. Maui has a powerful lesson for Moana. He tells her that she needs to see where she wants to go in her mind before she goes there. That's a very good lesson. Mm. Now the next day they arrive at a very big mountain. Coming up to stand in mountain pose, everyone. Your feet hip distance apart, your arms down by your sides. This is Lalatai, the realm of monsters. Maui and Moana climb up the mountain together. Here we go. Up we go, up we go, up we, up we, up we go. At the top, Maui does a special dance. Jump your feet wide and bend your knees. He takes hold of one of his elbows as he says, Anix. Then he does it on the other side. Anix. Then he flutters and shimmers his hands all around as he says, Howie. He puts his hands on his hips and he does a big blow. <gasps> Suddenly a giant floor door opens beneath them, holding onto opposite elbows and lift them up above your head. Now Maui, followed by Moana, jump down into the hole. After three, let's jump down to crouch, ready? One, two, three. Boing, boing, boing. Bottom. There are lots and lots of monsters coming into our monster pose, everyone. Take your feet wide, holding onto your ankles. Let's lift up our feet as we clomp about like a monster. Clump, 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 clump. Rolling all the way back up to stand. Now the scariest and sparkliest of all the monsters is in fact a giant crab called Tamatoa, who has a beautiful gold encrusted shell. Lots of treasures on it, coming into our crab pose. Sitting on your bottoms, knees bent, feet flat, hands behind you, and lift your bottom up. Now he's a right gold digger, and he loves everything shiny. So we're gonna go digger, 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 and kick our leg and say shiny, come on. Digger, 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 shiny. And the other way, digger, 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 shiny. Then Maui spots it, his fish hook, it's right on his back. Coming up into our fish hook pose, everyone. Standing up, taking your arm up, taking your hand to the side. Now holding onto your foot behind you, trying not to wobble as you kick your foot a little bit, coming into your fish hook pose. Yes, well done. Maui sneaks up on his tiptoes to go and get the fish hook. 
Scrooge. But he's a bit rusty with his magic, and Tamatoa catches him in a big crab claw hug. Turning to the front, arms wide, and wrap yourself up in a big crab claw hug. Help! Now Moana escapes from the cage she's been put in, taking big steps through some squelchy glow in the dark stuff. Coming to the side and take a big step, ready? Big squelchy step. And stepping her back again and again. Big squelchy step into the green glow in the dark slime. This gives her an idea. She finds a barnacle. Coming into our barnacle oyster pose, sitting on your bottoms, soles of your feet together, holding onto your feet and folding your head all the way forwards. Now Moana covers the barnacle in the green glow-in-the-dark slime. So now it looks exactly like the green heart stone of Tefiti. She throws it up in the air, so Tamatoa goes chasing after it. Coming into a crouch position onto your tippy toes, everyone. After three, we're going to jump up. Ready? One, two, three. Woo! He goes after it because he loves treasure so much. And Maui and Moana can escape. Phew! Now Maui can practice using his fish hook and turning himself into some animals. But he's not really very good when he starts out. He starts off by turning himself into a shark head. Coming into our shark head pose, everyone. Lying on your tummies and crisscrossing your fingers behind your back. Lift up your shark fin and loll from side to side. Oh dear, this isn't much good. Then he turns himself into a starfish. Coming up to stand in your starfish pose. Legs wide, arms wide. Oh dear. Next, he turns himself into a chicken, like hey hey. Oh, coming into our chicken pose. Feet together, crouching all the way down. Now, seeing if you can balance with your hands on your hips, your shoulders and your elbows all the way back, and making a chicken sound. And finally, he turns himself back into Maui again, except this time he's lying on his tummy with a shark's tail. Oh, coming onto your tummy, everyone. Hands under your shoulders and cross your ankles. Now lift and lower your feet like you've got a shark's tail. I don't know. Coming up to sit, he needs more practice. Moana, on the other hand, has been really learning how to sail and she's finally learnt how to read the stars in the sky. Coming up into our star pose, taking your feet wide and your arms wide. Maui thinks she's ready and he gives her the oar to steer the boat. Let's take the oar now, everyone. Sitting on your bottoms, legs out long. Take hold of one of your feet to be your oar. Moana knows what she should do. And she rows towards Tefiti, across the sea, to return the heartstone. Let's sing together. Row, row, row the boat, gently cross the sea. We need to get the heartstone to Tefiti. There's a bit further to go, so she rows with the other oar. Putting that one down, lifting up the other side. Let's row again. Here we go. Row, row, row the boat, gently cross the sea. We need to get the heartstone to Tefiti. They arrive at Tefiti, but Teikar is there again, erupting her lava bombs. Coming into your volcano pose again, everyone. Onto your knees, hands down. Let's breathe in and lift up. And let's breathe out with a whoosh of lava to the sky. Whoosh. Breathing in, lift up. And whooshing some lava. Whoosh. Oh no, it manages to crack and burn Maui's fish hook. He's very angry about this. And he turns himself into a hawk and he flies away. Coming up in our flying pose on the other side now, everyone. Standing tall, lift up one of your legs, try not to wobble. Now send your foot all the way back behind you, using your arms for balance. Make your leg as strong as you can be in your flying pose. And coming all the way up to stand. He's left Moana and Hey Hey all by themselves on the boat again. Sitting down, Moana hugs her knees. She thinks, I'm clearly not the one to return the heartstone to Tefiti. She comes onto her knees and she reaches up with the heartstone 
handing it back to the ocean as she says, choose someone else to return it. The ocean takes the stone from her and she lowers her arms. But as she does, the spirit of her grandmother appears on the boat, Tala, to give her a big hug. Coming up onto your knees, everyone, your arms wide, and wrap yourself up in that beautiful, warm, loving hug. She helps Moana find her inspiration again, and Moana believes in herself. She sits back on her heels, brings her hands to prayer at her heart, and she sings. Come what may, I'll find a way. Then with a twinkle in her eye, with real determination, she says, I am Moana. Then she surfs on her boat with Hey Hey all by herself, back to Tafiti. Coming up into surfer pose, everyone. Stepping one leg forward, one leg back, and bend your knee. Open your arms up and out, and let's surf back to Tekar and Tafiti. Whoosh! When she gets there, Tekar is waiting for her and she chases Moana. So Moana jumps and surfs the other way. One, two, three, whoosh! Tekar follows her and Moana finds a way in. Just in the nick of time, Maui returns as a whale to splash Tekar. Coming into whale pose, lying on your backs, everyone. Knees bent, feet flat, hands down by your sides. Let's lift up our hips as we go bubble, 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 splash! And then lowering them all the way back down. He then turns himself into a shark again, but this time a full shark. Rolling over onto your tummies, everyone, and take your hands behind your back. Lift up your shark fin and let's loll and nibble Tekar's arm. Nibble, 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 nibble. Coming up to stand, everyone. This gives Moana her chance and she climbs up the mountain with the heart stone. Here we go. Up we go, up we go, up we, up we, up we go. At the top, she takes a big step to see Tefiti. Coming to the side, and let's take a big step forwards. Here we go. Big step. Tefiti isn't there. Moana turns to face the other way, and she looks back at Tekar. Now she sees in Tekar's heart the same spiral shape of the heart stone, and she understands. Tekar is Tefiti. She stretches her legs long and she holds up the stone, pointing it directly at Tekar. So it beams brightly towards her and catches Tekar's eye. Tekar begins to crawl like a tiger towards Moana. Coming down onto your hands and your knees, everyone. Reach forward with one hand, reach back with your opposite leg and crawl like Tekar. And the other way, reach forward with one hand, back with your other leg and Moana has total faith and she sits back on her heels. She bows her head forward, her head meeting with Tekar's head as she takes one hand on top of the other, presses her hands forward with the heart stone inside it into Tekar's heart as she says, you will know who you truly are. And then the magic happens. Tekar suddenly turns back into Tefiti growing up green and tall. Sitting on your bottoms, everyone, legs out in front of you. Sweep your legs round to one side. Tafiti sweeps round, twisting all the way around her to return life to the oceans and the islands. Then she goes the other way, taking your legs to the other side, sweeping all the way round, twisting around to bring Maui a new fish hook and Moana a brand new boat. Crossing your legs, Maui and Moana say namaste. Namaste. Now Moana returns home to Motunui with Hei Hei as a hero. She teaches the villagers to become voyagers again. So they set sail in their boats. Coming into our boat pose, everyone. Sitting up tall, lift up one leg, lift up two, lift up one hand, lift up no hands. Bravely they go exploring and discovering new islands across the world.
We lie ourselves all the way back now, our legs and our arms long, taking a few moments to enjoy some peaceful rest time after what has been such an epic adventure. We learnt so much along the way with Moana. We learnt how to truly believe in ourselves. That when times get hard, we can always dig a little bit deeper and we can always find the power and the strength that we need. That belief in ourselves is what sits at the core of it all. With determination, we can do anything. Even the little people can do extraordinary things. All it takes is that belief. And we also learned to become wayfinders. That amazing lesson about seeing where we must want to go in our minds before we go there. That's what makes it happen. The power of our mind. We will always win if we believe in ourselves. Come what may, we'll find a way. Now it's time to wake up, so we wiggle our fingers, we wiggle our toes. We take a big stretch, pointing our toes and our arms away from us, then drawing our knees into our chest, giving them a cuddle and rolling over onto our sides. We open our eyes as we come up to sit and we cross our legs and bring our hands together at our heart. And we finish just the way we started with our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. Well done, everyone. Thanks for coming on the Moana adventure with me. You were amazing. I hope you come back soon for another Cosmic Kids adventure.